Action Beagle. Show me your guard dog skills. What you got? You got guard dog skills? Let me see that ball. Get that ball. That's it. Get that ball. Is that your ball? Is that my ball? You better give my ball back. You better give my ball back. That's my ball. You give my ball back. You ball thief. Damn. Help, I've been robbed. Somebody stole my damn ball. Give me that ball back, you son of a bitch. Give me the ball back. You better give me my ball. You got my ball. Give me my ball. Hey. Hey, give me my ball. You got my ball? Mudden. You got my ball? Uh, I'm going to get my ball. I'm going to get my ball. All right. Well, welcome to Mudden with Beads. And this is Mudden. I'm Beegs. Welcome to Mudden and Beegs. This is episode four. How y'all doing tonight? I got a beagle hound here somewhere. There he is. Oh my goodness. He wanted to be presentable. Hello. Hope everybody's doing fine tonight. Mudden got him some new organite. I don't know if you can see that. He's got it on his collar there. He looks like a vampire bat, see? Ah, vampire bat! Help, help, help! I'm getting attacked by a vampire bat. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Hey, baby Mitchie, Orphan Nanny, Hippie Shake, Sherry Eyes, New West Reset Frankie. How y'all doing tonight? We wanted to, we had off today. It was a rain day, and uh, we thought we would come on and come hang with you fine people and uh, do a little bit of something, something. Uh, we're not going to do what we normally do around here. We're going to do a little something, something different. Why are you biting me? I'm not edible. There you go. All right, we're going to do a little something, something different tonight. Uh, shake it up a bit. Um, shake the bag up and uh, make things uh, a little bit different and um, see what we can get into. And uh, this little rascal is going to ride shotgun with me and he's going to probably eat me alive. But that's okay. He likes to nibble. He's teething, so he's always nibbling on things, especially me. He thinks I taste the best because he knows he can get away with it. But uh, we're going to uh, get into it here in a second. So let me uh, put him down for just a second. Let's make sure um, we need to make sure that we don't have any fraudulent miltology in the midst of what we're doing here. So everybody look in the camera right here. Okay, so welcome to Mudding with Beegs, uh, episode four, and uh, we're going to do a little something different tonight. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get through the pleasantries, and we'll be right back and get into it. Okie dokie. Now that we got that out of the way, um, let's see. Uh, I ordered, uh, look at my notes here, get some, through a couple things real quick. I ordered a book recently um, called The Atlanta Underground. Let's see, make sure you can see it. And um, I was uh, wanting to, to get more research for a project that I'm working on uh, for an updated version of Viaducts of Atlanta. And, um, you know, I got this book and come to find out, uh, this book is all about the, uh, I don't know why it's doing that all about the, uh, underground in Atlanta. The only problem is they never once mentioned viaducts. So how can you do a book about the underground in Atlanta and never mention why it's the underground? So I was very disappointed. It's a little book, but uh, basically it's talking about the train system and the MARTA system. That's the subway in underground Atlanta. 
they touch on the underground Atlanta shopping area and entertainment complex, but they just completely skip over the viaducts of Atlanta. So, you know, it's very interesting how, you know, this research that we're doing is groundbreaking and we're doing things that are just not even being talked about. So that's that. Um, another thing I got is this. This is uh, for my, I, I got this for my Raleigh research video that I'm continuing to work on. And um, I got myself a, I hope you can see this, a bird's eye view. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to show up. This camera's so weird. It's a bird's eye view map of Raleigh. I don't know if you can see that at all, but um, there's the title. It's it's kind of big, but I wanted to be able to uh, see um, the entire. I have a high resolution um, image of this that is very helpful in my research, but I wanted to be able to visualize it um, all at one time because when you're looking at the high resolution image, it's you're looking at portions of it so sometimes that it's helpful to see things as a whole so i got that i thought that was pretty cool um i'm working on uh right now i'm working on at the farm I'm working on building a pheasant coop uh 32 feet eight feet wide eight feet tall well 12 feet tall something like that it's eight foot ceiling, but it's it's higher than that, but it's open vaulted anyways. Um, so I'm working on that right now at work, trying to get that done. And the other day we had the uh, big eclipse and uh, uh, I was standing there with a group of people and, and they're like, oh man, it's time for the eclipse. I'm like, oh really? I'm like, oh, and I looked up and looked at the sun. They're like, oh, we don't have any sunglasses. We got to get the shades. I'm like, no, we don't. And I just sat there and enjoyed the uh, the eclipse. Uh, no, no glasses, nothing. And it was one of the most amazing experiences. Absolutely beautiful. I understand now why they make you wear the glasses. It makes sense to me now. They don't want you to see this. So that was really amazing. Um, I would highly suggest doing a little research into sun gazing. Uh, this is something I do from time to time. That's very enjoyable. Uh, it really charges up that penile gland. Um, I am uh, kind of, uh, let's see, looking over my notes. Okay. Um, behind the scenes, I'm working very hard on um, a uh, research product. Um, I, I, I wanted to um, update one of my videos with some research that I found. And when I went back to start to do the update, I realized that Number one, my original video sucked ass. It was horrible. It was terrible. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I started to look into how to make a better video. So that's been very beneficial in my uh, studies. And the second thing I realized is that I have more new information than I realized. Next thing I realized is that... Um, the story is much bigger than I realized. And then another thing is that I've got a small team of, of uh, folks that are helping me out behind the scenes. And um, we're working together on this project to um, do further research. And it's very been very beneficial and helpful, I think, for everyone involved to work on this project. And we've learned so much. Um, not going to tell you what it is. So it'll be a surprise when it comes. But um, basically, one of my old videos, um, which I was really proud of, now I think is a piece of shit, excuse my French, but I think I'm going to delete the video um, and then re-release a new video, and it will be, you know, fresh as baby skin. Um, so that's coming um, at some point, and I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, we've got some... Uh, we're basically um, taking one little piece to the puzzle and, 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 and sticking a microscope up its ass and looking at one little tiny piece of the old world and seeing what we can find and go from there. So there's that. 
Um, another thing I'm dealing with is um, there. W- you've all heard of the uh, new heaven and new earth. Some of you understand when I say 5D, 3D. Um, some of you understand when I say consciousness shift, uh, the great shift, uh, um, a sh- um, the, the, uh, the great awakening. Um, in a nutshell, what is happening is, um, and the, I hate to get all esoteric on you, but the there there are two Earths right now. There is a 5D Earth and a 3D Earth, and they are separating, okay? Um, separating, however you want to say. Whatever model of the Earth you think, okay, I think it's a flat Earth, but whatever model your Earth is, okay, it's the shape of a peanut, who cares? Okay, it, the 3D and the 5D Earth are separating. It's starting to happen. I've been waiting a long time for this to happen, but it is actually happening. The shift is starting now. It is happening. Um, If you do not know what I'm talking about, then that means you're probably not shifting. That doesn't mean you can't shift. Um, Things are changing. Things are shifting. Um, Things that I've been looking forward to for a very long time are starting to occur, starting to change, starting to separate and it's phenomenal um and it also got me to thinking about mud flood um one of the things about 5d 3d consciousness shift is that the when the earth separates into a a a higher consciousness okay and the earth is its own consciousness the earth will shift with or without us, the earth doesn't need us. We're like a, a flea on, you know, a dog. Okay. And, and so the earth is shifting and we either a have to shift with it or B stay with the old earth, the 3d reality. Um, and it got me wondering, and what if there was a shift before which there has been, but what if there was one kind of recently, kind of 1800s, maybe 1900s, in that era that we look at this mud flood event happening, what if there was a consciousness shift and and the part of the earth, people on earth shifted and that's why they just vanished. Where did the giants go? You know, yes, we find bones, but where did they go, really? Where are the giants? Where did the Mayans go? What if there are these consciousness shifts that the people that just kind of just vanish, what if they don't just vanish? What if they they shift in consciousness up to a higher dimension? What if that's what we're dealing with? Um, so I'm kind of looking at that idea. Um this would also go in line with simulation theory and no simulation theory is it, it. There is not a computer that's running the simulation. I mean, imagine a computer that would be powerful enough to run the simulation of the earth, all the people on the earth, all the bugs, all the bees, all the trees, all the leaves of grass, all the water, all the mountains that aren't melted buildings. What kind of, what size computer how many quantum computers would it take to run a reality like that? It's stupid. It's a retarded idea. There's no computing power. It, it would not make sense to build a computer like that hardware software simulator. It, that's retarded. It's absolutely retarded. If you believe that you're retard, that's a retard idea. Okay. That's, that's third dimensional thinking. I'm thinking higher. Okay. I'm going, I'm going that way. Now, if you want to stay in third dimensional reality, that's fine. I ain't waiting around for you. Okay. I'm this, I'm shifting y'all. Okay. I'm fucking shifting. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I've been starting to shift for a long time, but it is actually starting to happen. Okay. At some point, old big's just going to pop poof. Okay. I'm going to be a fart in the wind. Okay. Now you can either learn what this 5D shift consciousness shift is 
or you can stay in the third dimensional reality. The problem is that we all know how third dimensional reality sucks ass. Okay. Look around. Things are bad. Okay. They're bad. They're politics, religion, science, it, it, our food system, everything's fucked. Okay. That's nothing compared to what's going to happen once the shift takes place. Once the phase lock happens. And what I mean by phase lock is when the, 3D and the 5D realities separate. When there's a final separation, it'll phase lock. That means they're in bet before then, you're going to be able to go back and forth. It'll become harder and harder, but you will still be able to go back and forth between 3D and 5D. But when that phase lock happens, it's done. Okay. We're, we're, you're here or you're there. If you're in the third dimensional reality, it's going to get worse. It's going to get much worse. It's going to get so bad that you're literally going to have to shift in order to survive it. So you're still going to have to shift. It's just, you're going to basically get butt raped, metaphorically speaking, in every aspect of your life. And it's going to suck ass. But if you want to go that route, if you want to stay in that, if you want to, stay in that level of consciousness have fun i'm fucking out of here okay and it's not saying that five dimension is better than three dimension or or people that are shifting are better than people in third dimension it's not about that it's about there is a shift happening you either shift or you don't shift okay shit or get off the pot okay so I'm putting up little bits here and there, take them or leave them. And um, hopefully you'll find that. Now, now that we got through all the pleasantries and the what have it, um, what I want to do tonight is a little bit something different. And um, I don't want to look at, at pictures of old world buildings and, you know, that stuff that we normally might do here. Um, what I want to do is I want to go old world shopping. Okay. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go shopping for old world junk. We're going to go thrift shopping. Okay. And, um, we're going to see what we find. I don't know what we're going to find. We're going to find some crazy shit. It's going to be something different. I don't think anybody's ever done this before. But uh, we're going to go and do it, and I hope you enjoy it. And what we're going to do, let me go ahead and present the screen. And we will be looking at this website here. It's called Urban Remains. Uh, the website is urbanremainschicago.com. What this company does is they um, work out deals with demolition companies to go in before they demolish these old world buildings. They make a deal for um, the parts and pieces that they want to salvage. And they um, go in and they properly dismantle these, these products, um, these, these parts, these pieces, and they document them. Um, this is an amazing website, okay? Um, and I'm going to share you um, tonight a little bit of what is on here. Now, um, if you go to down here, scroll down, explore our latest salvages, view articles, um, it'll give you some of their, um, the buildings and things that they are working on. And you, you can see them here. Now, if you go to, let's say, this one here, and you scroll down, this is the 1902 Henry L. New House uh, Design Southside Chicago Greystones, uh, Future Uncertain After Devastating Fire. And um, they go in, they document what they can, and I mean, this is just an amazing structure. 
beautiful architecture got mud flood windows down here just beautiful beautiful architecture um these mud flood windows got portholes and the guy i don't as far as i know is not a a mud flutter but um they definitely know that this stuff is historical and they are trying their best to preserve it. Now they are for profit, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and uh, they, they make a profit on these products, but what they do in the process of making profit on these products is they document these things. They, they save it the best because see, here's the thing. These things are scheduled for demolition. And so if they didn't do what they're doing, they would just go to the city dump. So that's no good. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see something else. Go to this one. And this is the historical important Gothic style exterior. Henry Rokeham. Residence terracotta fence segments join building 51 museum archive. Okay. So the, they're talking about, they saved these pieces here. I guess this is the guy that owned the house. There's Fred's ass right there. Oh, that's a wild picture right there. Let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, boss man's chiming in. Still chiming in. Go away, boss man. Working. Uh, the, the terracotta. So these are those terracotta pieces. And I love that the 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 up closeness of the photographs that they I mean they really document this stuff. I'm going fast because there's a shit ton of this stuff. Stoneball finials. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell the story. The 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 people next door they, they just bought or they just I don't know where I don't know where they got it. But they got one of these somewhere, and um, they painted it the top of it teal green. It is it is sickening to me. Just oh, I just want to go take a sledgehammer to it. Anyways, <sighs> why would you do that? Oh, look at that house! Wow, now, I haven't seen this stuff. So you know, y'all are y'all are getting you know first view let's see oh wow look at that it's like a green man where's haha -ha? are you here haha -ha? hey professor mix let's see it's an amazing thing you can slow this down later and look at it you can also look at the website i'm just gonna blast through i'm just looking real quick i ain't gotta be time to tickle it so let's go. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to jump over here. We're going to play around here. Okay. This is the site where they list. This is the same website, but this is under products up here. Products, see products. And this is where they list the products that they have for sale. Now, uh, let's see. This is a Lewis H. Sullivan design caster or cast plast, plaster, excuse me, cast plaster recast of an interior and host ceiling extrusion i can't pronounce that with a period appropriate paint finish so this is um let's see so i guess this is like for a light or something and if you click on the picture you can actually zoom in I guess a light would go in the center of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, they also have a lot of uh, books, a lot of photographs, glass plate negatives. They have all kinds of stuff on here. I'm just going to go down and, and just find things that interest me. If you want to see something for yourself, go check out the website. Uh, architectural drawings, there's a ton of. Look at one of those just for giggles. This is a, a hand-drawn ceiling-like fixture by some architect. Who knows? Probably not. You know, it's probably this, where they tell you it's an architect, blah, blah, blah. 
They want a competition, blah, blah, blah. This is a uh, thermometer plate that was uh, in the National Regulator Company building. Just a thermometer plate. Really cool. I still got the thermometer in it. Huh. That's wild. All right. Oh, I showed this on a um a post the other day. This is a uh, fireplace back. Um, so got a green man. I think there's only one picture. This thing is beautiful. And that's only $550. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Um, another thing I, I like about this site is that when he takes the pictures, you can see um, this is uh, 1922 spray glazed from Cross Music Store terracotta. But what, what I like about this is when he takes the pictures, you can see the um, the interior. Now, I don't know if that... Um, I, I don't know if that tells us anything. Uh, you, uh, Maggot, if you're here, um, chime in on what you see because uh, Maggot knows about this stuff. Uh, Dean, if you're here, chime in. Um, but anyways, you can see the interiors of these things. And, um, I don't know what you can learn. Another thing this guy does is really cool. He'll go and find photographs or documentation and add with the product. So this is the building this came off of. How is, how cool is that? I mean, that is neat. This is, uh, um, American Terracotta and Ceramic Company. This might be a purchase order, maybe. Yeah, I think so. So you can see where they were in situ there, right here. See this? This is where what he, This is what he's selling. One of these, right? And you can see he he takes a picture of it before they remove it. And that this is something else. See this right here. He'll have this on a separate listing. He'll have each different kind on a separate lift listing. So it's really cool. Just love this. I just love how, how they do this. Really, really cool. This is a doorknob, a freaking doorknob, y'all. What's up, GT 1982 Mustang? How you doing tonight? This is off. Oh, where? Wait, what am I? At? Buttons aren't toys. Oh, this is only twenty three hundred eighty bucks. Who cares about the eighty bucks? This is uh, original Lewis H. Sullivan design, cast iron, Yale and Town, Chicago Stock Exchange building, office door bracket and matching doorknob. The freaking doorknob. I mean, seriously, seriously. Seriously, in that day and age, this is this is how they're running. This is this is the quality. Try to get this at freaking the, the hardware store in your local town. Try try to go buy something like this. Try to get anything remotely this quality. Anything even similar. What's up, ha ha? You're gonna you're gonna like this stuff. Saw some green man earlier. This is the building it came off of, or out of, because uh, this is a doorknob, excuse me. Okay, we're going to keep on going. They got all kinds of shit on here. Excuse my French. Wee wee. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> limited edition recast of terracotta lion head designed for KM 
Bitsumens, uh, whatever, Bell or Old Republic building completed in 1924. So this is a a repercussion of a, a reproduction of something. Um, but it gives you an idea of what you know that looked like. That's pretty cool. Interesting. You know, it's weird. They they found something on Oak Island uh, last week. Remind, that that reminds me of that sunburst coming out of his noggin. What is this early? Oh wow! T just the, oh wow! Tyrod rosettes, eighteen eighties, off the. I didn't didn't say. These are just rosettes. These are um the rods that would be uh you'll see them on the outside of the buildings um. They give strength to the uh, the brick for um, the building, um, and here it is in a catalog. This guy's on top of his game. I, I, I like how he does this. This is really cool. And those are only five hundred ninety dollars. Oh, it's seventy five cent. No biggie. Chump change. You guys are big spenders. I know. What is this? I don't even know. We'll go look at it. Why not? This is a original signed and dated American muralist Richard Haas, 1970 screen print of Lewis H. Sullivan's Bayard building facade. So this is great. Look at that. Good grief. Ah, but those aren't toys. I don't know why it's going like that. But anyways, it's flipping out on me when I try to move it up. Well, that's kind of weird. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's see what else we got. What else? Let's see. What is that? Nah. Ooh, what is that? Terracotta glazed. Museum quality. Hugh Garden design. Speckled glazed terracotta. Corbel salvaged from 1904 Chapin and Gore building. Look at that. Why? Why? Why that much detail? Seriously. Oh, wrong way. Okay. That's a wild symbol right there. I don't even know what that is. This is the building it came off of. Oh, wow, look. Got pavement lights right here. Coal hole covers with what looks like pavement lights in them. This is the building these doodads came off of. Really cool. There's, there's the pavement. Oh, wait. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay. There's the pavement light right there. The coal hole covers. How about that? All right. What else we got? Hope you ladies and gentlemen are having fun. Oh, what is this? This is da, 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 faithfully recreated intact 1979 Frank Lloyd Wright home and studio cast plaster stork panel or plaque. Okay. Well, that's rather odd. I think Frank Lloyd Wright is a bullshit narrative dude. That looks kind of Egyptian to me. I wonder what that's supposed to represent. Pretty wild. Huh. That's some weird stuff right there. Okay. All right. What else we got? What you got? What you got? Door handles. Oh, see how it says one, two, three, four, five. Trust me, there's a lot more. A lot more pages. There's a lot. Oh, and another thing is when, when they finish the sale, they sell out of these, they leave it up so you can uh, continue to look at it. This is just a 
T-door handle. <laughs> you can't just go around telling people Arctic was a giant. Yeah. Yeah, that probably uh, squashed the deal right there. I mean, look at the detail on just that item right there. It's just, I mean, it's a little bit redonkulous. Only $382. That is on um, cast bronze Ikado pattern residential entrance door T handle from for doorbell made by Sergeant. Made by Sergeant, really. Let's see. Keep it on going. That might be interesting. Do to do, do original and intact eighteen ninety three Columbus Memorial Building interior. Lobby walls, sconce with matching copper plated sockets. Damn. Got the check out these lions. Florida Lee. Big ass Florida Lee there. What well, represents France? Don't you know nothing? Thank you, Nanny Squad. Thank you very much. No, 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 Okay. Huh. That thing looks old as dirt. So this is the building it came out of. You know, I don't think we really, even us fine folks that study this particular form of research, I don't think that we really have any idea what was here. They have burned it all down, y'all. They have just demolished it. They have changed it. If they didn't burn it, if they didn't demolish it, if they didn't brutalize it or move it, they, I mean, it, it's it's incredible. If, if we really knew, if we got down at, if, if, if all of a sudden we woke up one day and everything was back in place, I think we'd shit ourselves. I really think we would. I think we would have to check our fucking pants. I think it would blow our freaking minds to realize how much they have gotten rid of. I really do. Because, I mean, just from what I've seen, it blows my mind. And I know I haven't seen nothing. Nothing. Rare recast of an original Frank Lloyd Wright design Heller house exterior pier capital comprised of cast resin with cream colored finish. All right. So they are like trying to reproduce some of these things so that you can one bomb, but two, so you to like preserve the that's the them in situ. Man, I mean, can you imagine, like, just unbelievable. And there they are on some kind of architectural plan. I think they went in and just drew this shit up. I think Frank Lloyd Wright is definitely not what they say he was. I just don't. You can get some pretty cool books on here, too. There's another cool door handle. Anybody want to look at another door handle? Y'all don't want to see another door handle, do you? This is off the guaranteed building oversized back plate. It's only $2,900, 75, whatever. Who cares? Just nothing. Chump change. You people are high rollers. Got the, kind of looks like a compass and square. I don't know why it flips like that, but anyways, we'll deal with it. That is wild. You could just get lost in that thing incredible that's a freaking doorknob y'all i mean the craftsmanship that's off this building right here 
this little fellow right here. Oh my. Oh my. As Milk Tart Spartan Red would say, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> what a loser. Oh. Call me Spartan. Jackass. Oh. I got to keep them milk tards on their toes. I hope y'all realize that, that, that a year before I called the meltology people milk tards, they called us mud tards. It's documented. So the next time somebody gives me shit for calling them milk tards, I'm going to refer them to the exact video where they called us mud tards a year before I called them milk tards. Just saying, the pot calling the kettle black. Just saying. Hard to find original uh, Sloan and S beaming design cast iron. Paps building ornament cast iron staircase bolster by Willow Winslow Brothers. Anyways, it's a bolster. Look at that. Oh, my. That's cool. It's like an exploding Fleur de Lis. And there they are in situ. I love how they document this stuff. It came out of that building right there. Incredible. And and I guess they demoed this building. Just tore it down. Because, I mean, who needs this piece of shit? Not me. I don't need that. No. Mm -mm. I'll take 15 McDonald's over that one piece of shit any day. Give me my golden arches. That's what I want. All day long. Here's your Phoenician fishy. Oh, wrong wrong button. Buttons aren't toys. Oh, you got to hit this thing just right or it, or it, it goes where the hell it wants to go. Original Charles B. Atwood design custom in Bollock, uh 1896 Fisher Building doorknob for D.H. Burnham and Company. It's a Phoenician fish was possible floor to Lee. That's out of this little building right here, in case you need a little building to go with it. Hey, I'm going to continue shopping. Boy, when we go to check out, we're going to be in pain from all the money being spent here. Um, Let's, oh, what is this? Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. What do we got? Original Claude and Stark design exterior cast plaster Sullivan esque panel salvaged from the 1911 Carnegie Library in Rochelle, Illinois. Oh my. That's in a library. You go to read books and they got this. Screw the book. Read, just look at that and read that. I, that's a whole book right there. I don't even know what they're saying, but they're saying something. They are saying something. Scrub cartouche. Incredible. Look at that thing. That that that's that reminds me of uh, Mayan stuff. That's probably. I don't know. They don't have a price on that one. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Let's look at that just for giggles. This is a one of two. Ooh, buttons aren't toys. One of two original 1972 Chicago Exchange building Lucite block souvenirs sold by Three Oaks Wrecking Company. So you can get you a piece of rock. I wonder if they got a price on that one. Only $807.50. Chump change. Oh, I, I said this on my uh, comments the other day. I, I just thought this was really cool. And this this is the thing. Like, if you go look up these, uh, look up rich, uh, these uh, Comet Stone building block sets, um, you'll find a bunch of this stuff. This was a, a like a kid's toy that they sold where it had real stone blocks for building. And you could get different kits and you could build things. 
And I just think that is so cool. But of course, they don't want us to have thinking toys anymore. It's all. It's like here. Here's a set of Legos. Build it exactly as the plan says. Don't be outside of the lines. Just saying. Education. The only thing that got in the way of my education is education. Okay. What we got? We got. We got. Okay. Okie dokie. Looking for something good. There's a bunch of stuff on here. I'm just, oh, look at that. I got to see that. What is that? Don't know. Go and go look. This is a magic set of original cast bronze salvage from St. Louis High Victorian area, 1870s antique store door thumb latch handles. St. Louis High. So this is from a high school? Yeah, they were high, all right. Good grief. Dang, gone. Oh, unbelievable. I think that's the only picture. That's the only picture they give for $552.50. My goodness, let's move on. What can we find? What can we find? I don't know. Do, 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 do. This is interesting. This is, this is a brick. Where can we get this brick? Original dark brown Anderson press brick from... Burnham and Roots Mondadoc building. Mondadoc, what? North half, 1891. So this is a brick from 1891. I ain't never seen a brick looking like that. That's kind of odd. It's got a hole in it. That's kind of weird. It came out of this building here. Very strange. Four rent offices. That might be pavement like. You see how it's got that different look to it? And right there, reminiscent of pavement light. You know, I love me some pavement light. Oh, and have mercy, love me some pavement light. I actually uh, found this website. I, I've known about this website for a long time, but I actually ran into it again the other day. I was looking for a piece of pavement. I'm always looking for a piece of pavement glass. Uh, I want a certain piece just for myself. And um, I I was looking and they had what I exactly what I wanted on this site, except it wasn't solarized. So I started looking around at what else they had. And um, here we are. This is weird. Oh, buttons aren't toys. Okay, there we go. Rare Museum Quality 1961 World Book Encyclopedia Custom Shadow Box Frame Schiller Building Theater Plaster Star Pod with Place Card Plaque and Richard Nickel Images. Wow. I think this talks about right here. Detail of integral ornament from the proscenium arch of the Schiller building 18 built in 1892 by architect Lewis H. Sullivan. Example shows refinement of ornament of the thing, not on it. Huh. As opposed to the mere applied decoration of that period represented here is the plastic uh, continuity of design, whether the medium be stone, wood, or iron, which song was master. A special grant by World Book Encyclopedia at the time of the Schiller Building destruction aided the city of Chicago in its preservation program to save the valuable ornamentation. So they saved these and plaqued them up so you could buy them and they could preserve it, which is pretty cool. Gives an idea how big it is. Wow. I I like this because it because you get the, you get an up close and personal like with the it's one thing to see it in on the building, but I think it's a whole nother thing thing to see 
Look at that roof. Good grief. A whole nother thing to see it um, as an individual piece. That's them dismantling it. Good grief. I mean, that looks like a panty ass just to get out of there. Much less put in there. I mean, can you imagine building like this? With, you know, Fred, horse and buggy. I mean, not to put Fred down, but there's Maggot. How's it going, Mr. Maggot? What's going on? We're looking at a bunch of stuff you might like. Maggie's going to love this. This will be cool. Do, 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 do. Original copper plated 1899 Schellinger and Mayor building ornamental cast iron interior staircase bolster. No price. Oh, that's in situ. I mean, look at that. My goodness. Just for a dang staircase. That's one piece of that staircase. I mean, it says something, I think, just in that thought, that one piece off an old staircase is has enough interest and value and artisticness to be saved, to be preserved, to be enjoyed by others, to, I mean, okay, you, you go take off a bolster off your staircase and tell me if, you know, you think anybody wants to buy that. You know, I, I don't think they would. I really don't. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's check out this door handle. Why not? This is a rare 1870 ornamental cast bronze salvage Chicago figural commercial store door handle with centrally located figure. That's just a door handle. Go look at your doorknobs now and, and explain to me the difference between what we make today and what they made back then. They didn't have what we have today. They didn't have, that's only $590. No biggie. You can, you can, you can take care of that. This might be interesting. What is this? This is a original Frank Lloyd Wright design, 1895 buff color terracotta module salvage from Francis apartments building. This is off an apartments building. In case you need one of these. I mean, that is straight psychedelic right there. Whatever they got going on there, I mean, what's going on? What is that? I mean, come on. That's in situ. I mean, look at that thing. This is an apartment building. You know, where people wash their ass and do, and, and do the dishes and have dinner and watch TV. And have little get together parties. It's 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 an apartment building. I was going to show you the side of that thing. I mean, that's what that is, and and they went through that much effort to make that. All right, let's go over over here. Oh, let's see what else they got here. Do 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 do. Just gonna go down here. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Why not? This is 19th century Chicago workers' cottage set to be demolished in 2023. A pretty little, pretty little place. All right. Let's see if we can find something better. Do 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 do. What is this? Looks like fire damage. Post fire downtown Chicago been with arch top windows and Lamont Keystones undergoing demolition. I 
that's interesting right there. You can see how those windows are, are, let me, let me back up, see if we can see them before they, no, they don't show it. A lot of times you can't see how these windows are square. They look rounded. They look like they're, you know, curved at the top, but they're not. They're square. It's just, they hide them. It's just cool how they do that. And that's interesting how you can see the brick button there. And this might be, um, that might be new brick right there. They might have added that and changed out the windows at some point. Kind of interesting. I quit doing that. What is this? Beer bottle. Okay. Historically. Okay. Five historically important pre and post great Chicago fire building keystones. Florida Lee. That's really kind of cool right there. All right, what else we got? What you got? What you got? Do, 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 do. I don't know what this is. This is weird. Reassembling full scale 19th century Chicago cottage systems as standalone art and informal exhibition. Huh. That's weird. They're showing some of the woodwork. Wow, look at that. Wow, that wood is beautiful. That that is that wood right there is worth buku money. They just you can't get it anymore. That, that I mean that stuff is highly salt. Okay, what else? Aquanet. Okay, let's see. I want to get back up here. Oh my, look at that. This is the early 2024 sprint visits to Louis H. Sullivan's 1919 Jewel Box Bank in Columbus, Wisconsin. That's, that's incredible. Flat Earth Asterix, Eagle representing the Phoenix. My phoenix got my phoenix Ford. That eagle looks like he's ready to just whoop your ass. He's like, Come on, get you some. That is incredible. Look at that guy. That is crazy looking. I, th I think if, man, look at all those little flat earth asterisks all over the place. What's a flat earth asterisk? I believe it's the symbol for flat earth. That's my opinion. Opinions like tail holes. Everybody got one. Some of us got better looking than others, but that's mine. That is a cool, cool building. Me likey. Do you likey? Hello, Jimmy James. Reminds me of Jimmy John's. F and M. So it's like an unscrubbed cartouche there. That's a good flat. That's a real close flat earth asterisk. See, the, the, this represents the flat plane of 
the flat earth. This represents your north and south magnetic poles. And I believe the X represents the torus field surrounding it all. Excuse me, buttons aren't toys. There, there's your explanation. Well, it's flat earth asterisk. See, there it is again. It's everywhere. This symbol it is everywhere. If you start looking for this symbol, you will find it everywhere. It'll, it'll get annoying. Like you will literally find you in today. They use it today. They put it out there today. Watch your favorite shows and look in the background. See if it ain't in the sets. 1919. 19. That, that, that is a redone cartouche. I believe. I believe that said night. Look at that. Good grief. 1861. It's just, oh man, that's so cool. All righty. Told you we were going somewhere different today. We went thrift shopping. Let's look at this. I don't even know what this is. We'll go see. Octagon House. Oh, this is the, wait. This is the photographic survey of the 1854 John Richards Octagon House and adjoining properties in Waterton, Wisconsin. So this is some kind of octagon house. There's another octagon house in, um, I want to say Georgia. That's weird. I forget the name of it, but that it there's a, that's odd. Look at that. Look at those, the, the basement down there. Miniature octagon house. That is weird. Got to sell, sell that narrative there. Okay. All right. Don't know what that was, but it was kind of cool. Uh, da -dee, da -da 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 -da. Library, demolition, horizontal, country. Let's try that one and see what that is. This is like, okay, this is a demolition on the, on the horizon. Conrad Seeps post fire Chicago Italian eight commercial building handed death sentence. Dun, dun, dun. So I guess they've, they're going to demolish this one. It's like my flow winter's down there. Why would you demolish that? I mean, diamond symbology. Why would you do that? Why why would you it, it's perfect? I mean, it's why? What ugh. Could you imagine how freaking cool it would be to build, just at, build or put a restaurant in that thing? Like a high end, like, you know, where somebody could actually freaking cook and, 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 and have, you know, a night out on the town and you can go up in there and, and just feel like you're a total pimp. I mean, come on. That would be badass. Talk about a place to be seen. We went to this place and we were, we were there, you know, we, that, that would be really cool. Okay, I'm rambling. Ramble on, Mr. Beagle. Okay. Uh, da -dee, da -da -da. Ooh, this looks cool. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This is the historically important Gothic style exterior Henry Rokum. Residence terracotta fence segments. Joining building. Okay. That's that dude. And we were looking at this thing earlier, but I guess this is, what is that? That's weird. Uh, that's very odd. Is it See, these are architectural designs where they go in, I think, after the fact. And, and make, this is, this, we saw this earlier, but I wanted to see if they had, um, look at that house. Yeah, we were looking at this one. All right, let's look at someone else. Yeah, you better quit that. Time for that. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Let's see. I'm going to go down to the bottom. Go, go, go. Okay. 
page two. Okay, get that load and we'll go look over here. Here's a fireplace back, looks like. That was a guess. Visually distinctive ornamental cast iron figure of Victorian era 19th century cast iron fire back with brushed metal finish. Only $1,500. Chump change to find folks like you. There's some uh, old world antiquitech for you right there. Very interesting. So in case you need a fire back, there you go. I think I showed this one on my comments the other day. Let's look again. Museum quality, 1896 Charles B. Atwood design, ornamental cast iron, fish building elevator door by Winslow Brothers. FYI, that's probably bullshit. Okay, so this is the building it came out of. In case you need a little building like that. It's kind of looking pavement lighty right there and anyways this is the elevator door in case you need you know an, just fancy as elevator door i mean the the craftsmanship is just phenomenal i mean it, Talking about they built stuff to last back then. They, it, it's not just they built it to last. They built it perfect. The per, the perfection. Look at just look at the perfection in the twist in that metal. How perfect it is. How do you get that precise? In in that time. Maybe today with you know our fancy CNC machines and all that mess. You can't see it in the picture, but the elevator is right here. This is the building that was in. So that's that. I don't think we have a price on that one. Doesn't matter. Price is no object here. We'll spend what it takes. This is just a door hinge. Let's just look at a regular old door hinge. Why not? These came out of... Uh, da -de -de -de, doesn't tell. These are three hinges. That's just hinges. They should need, you know, hinges. I mean, you, you know, we can get hinges at the hardware store, but they ain't going to look like that. I don't think. I do believe they're not going to look like that at all. Get y'all old, old Tartarian line doorknob. Guess you need that. Lord Lee. Ch -ch 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 -ch. That's weird. A glass block from 1938. Huh. Interesting. You think between four, before 43. Do, 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 do. I got all kinds of stuff on here. It's so cool. Me likey. I hope you likey. If you don't likey, it's probably your fault. Sorry. I got to put blame where it lies. Let's see. Look at the, this, this thing right here. What in the world is this thing? Original SS Benman designed William Kimball House exterior copper plate iron rooftop crest rosette. Just the details, just phenomenal. So that's okay. So that is that right there off of this house right here. Oh, amazing. And that's it in situ. I guess these got tore up or something. Crazy. Got a price on this one. Only $552. Come on. Come on, big spenders. Get off your wallets. Let's get some. Let's save some of this architecture. Y'all always talking about saving the old world. Let's save it. Let's get it. Let's get her done. 
Da 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 I learned how to, by force, <laughs> learned how to install a ghost gate opener the other day. I, uh, it was, it, we, we, we tried to get the electricians to install it. They didn't want to mess with it. We called the gate door opener, uh, company to, to see if they would install it. They, they wanted a lot to install it. So next thing I know, I'm handed the instructions and told to install it. And I had to figure out how to install a ghost gate opener with remotes and sensors and keypads and all this crap. I got it done. Whoo, that was fun. Single all original 19th century Chicago style salvage exterior residential cast iron newel post with ball finial. Oh boy. It's a bingo. Good grief. Look at that. Just the patina. I mean, you, you just can't even make that. That's off that. Seriously, come on. Come on. Come on. You got to be kidding me. And that's the catalog it came out of. Quote, unquote. That, that is off that. That is off that that is off that eight hundred fifty dollars going once going twice sold this must be a a twin here new post look at that incredible the patina on that thing is just phenomenal. That was only $1,500. Come on, big spenders. Let's go. Let's see. Got They got all the kinds of these books from the World's Columbian Exposition. I think is really cool. It's kind of neat. Boy, if I had unlimited budget... I'd be buying some of this shit. I'm telling you right now. I'd be, I'd, I'd be up in there. I'd be their best customer, I think. Because I I see this stuff. Th this stuff is so much more valuable than they realize. Matching set of hard to find late 19th century ornamental cast iron. A Verney? What? Pattern door. What the hell? Pattern door hinge plates by Yale and Town and Company. Yeah, okay, whatever. Who cares? Not true. Okay, that's just look at that. Good guy. Well, those aren't toys. That's crazy. Only $552. Let's look at that. Do, 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 do. Rare museum quality ornamental cast iron line here. Salvage from George H. Johnson's 1860 Milwaukee iron block building. Ooh. Oh my. Tartarian line. Yeah, I said it. Uh oh, gonna set off the ninny squad. No, 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 It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's a ninny. It's off this building right here. Good gracious. Look at that bottom. Just how insane is that? Does that even make any sense? Look at the door. That seriously, come on. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. That's insanity. The detail. Oh, my goodness. What is that? It tongue it is his tongue. What is the a leaf coming out of his tongue? What's going on with the tongue? I don't know. It's weird looking. I don't. 
crazy. Well, that's wild looking. What is that? It's like, oh, that's, let me say that. I don't even know what that is. It's really interesting how they have the ground level and then they've got this going on down below. Look at that. Okay, we'll, we'll bite. What is this? What is this? Late 19th century, early museum quality ornamental cast iron Chicago Feral building interior panel with spread wing eagle. So you got your phoenix, my phoenix. My phoenix. Got my phoenix. Oh, gosh, that's sad. Oh, my goodness. Look at the portholes. Ah, help. No, don't stay still. So this is during the demolition. Oh, my goodness. That is a crime scene. Oh, my gosh. Talk about juxtaposition. The brutalist right in front of the old world. Oh, wow. I got to save that. Why not? That is crazy. That that juxtaposition is, is crazy. Oh, that's a, oh my goodness. Oh, looks, oh goodness. Look at the juxtaposition there. Brutalist. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Some jack knocker. Oh, I built this. I'm my architect. I got my architect. Look at that. That just looks complicatedly built. What is that? All right. That's it. Wow. How much is that? Only five, $5,500. No big deal. What else they got? Anything? Anything? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. All right. Moving on. Hope you ladies and gentlemen having a good time. I mean, if you, if you, if you do enjoy this, let me know in the comments. And by leaving comments, it helps the, you know, algorithm it says, oh, they, they like that, you know, rant dude that just goes on and on. And um, the algorithm likes to promote the, the stuff. So you know, if you just leave some stupid little comment like, hey, Jack Knocker, just want to say hi. Oh, we got to know where this is from. Original 1890 surveillance, uh, uh, Sullivan-esque style ornamental cast iron Plymouth building, staircase bolster, excused by Wills Brothers. Okay, whatever. Blah, 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 that's all made up. Okay. Kind of looks like Florida Lee. This symbol you see quite a lot. That that weird, it's a bolster. That's crazy. Like, why so much detail? What, what are they even representing there? An acid trip? I mean, what is it? I don't even know. I don't even have a clue what they're even trying to say. What is that? Let's look at that. What is that? That's weird. Hard to find. Originally early 20th century postcards, Chicago's Colonial Theater, formal Yellow Course Theater. That's weird. Okay. Page six. Do, 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 do. I think I told you guys. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, I think I'm in a video. We got emus for the farm. They're cute. They're. they're I don't know. What we're gonna. We've got a lot of work to get them a home built. We got a lot going on at the farm. 
whole lot going on. But it keeps me busy. I'm in, I'm enjoying it. Um, I did uh, some of these books. I just I just want to reach out and like grab the book and open it. And it, now now some of these some of the, they do show sometimes the interiors of these books. Not a lot, but yeah, it doesn't really doesn't show that one. Anyways, you can, uh, one thing I have been able to do here and there is grab the name of the book and then search for a PDF and I could find a PDF of, of the, uh, um, the book, which is cool. Uh, 1894 to 95 original Charles B. Atwood design ornamental cast iron access panel from Chicago World's Fair or Columbian Exposition. Okay. So it's, uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a, um, a light post. Oh my gosh. I just put, I had to put up, I had to install eight light posts last week and a, uh, well, no, well actually nine, eight, eight of the light posts were easy. They were just like 15 foot light post. Um, and, uh, the other one was a pain in the world. The, the last one took me as long as it took me to install the first eight. But the last one was 30 feet tall. And we did not. Or I, No, no. Let me take the we out of it. I knew it was going to be a pain in the ass. But everybody else didn't seem to understand that. And um, I kept telling them. I was like, we, we don't have what we need to get this thing in there. And, and anyways. It it was it was fun. We finally got it in the air. We're gonna have to unfortunately lift it back up because nobody would listen to old Beegs and Beegs knew what he was talking about and they figured out Beegs knew what he was talking about after we got it in the air. But we gotta we gotta we're having we we're having them um have some washers manufactured uh to take care of a little issue that we're they wouldn't listen to me. Nobody would listen. They want it done right now. And sometimes they don't want to listen. They just want to do it. And and anyways, now we're having to redo it. And anyways, it's going to be painting ass, but we'll get it. Maybe we won't, maybe we won't drop the 300 pound, 30 foot tall light pole on our heads. If we do, I'm going to run the other way, but, um, that being said, the uh, what else here? Looking for something to buy here. What can we buy? We can buy something. Do, 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 do. I have been. Uh, am I going in? Is this the same page I just looked at, or am I six? I was on six, wasn't I? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Seven. You did this to me the other day when I was looking at it. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're on something different now. What is this? Okay. Look at that. That That's a Art Deco. What is that? Let's check it out. Art Deco is a very strange thing. It's before my cutoff date of 43, but it's like an in-between stage. There's something weird going on with the Art Deco stuff. So this is a doorknob. In case you need a doorknob, only $552. Jeez, I mean, talk about like showing your place off and saying, yeah, I got a $552, you know, cabinet doorknob you know because that's how I roll seriously I saw this the other day this was weird it's a paperweight of the Reliance building Supernary Libby glass photo paperweight so they have this 
photograph of a building inside of a paperweight. How weird is that? I've never seen that before. Very strange. Pick some kind of photograph of a look at that. My goodness. There's Fred right there. Kind of hard to see, but Fred's there. Fred's pretty much always there. I mean, Fred is the horse that built America. In case you were unaware and uninformed, no matter what the Nanny Squad says, Fred built the shit. Historically important, 1888, John Welburn Root designed Kansas City Border Trade Atrium Cast Iron Fred Fred panel. So it's just a panel. $1,870. Going once, going twice. Do, 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 do. How cool is that? Whatever that is, that is cool. Look at the, you get close, the closer you get, the more detail you see. Incredible. So that's that stuff. Freaking incredible. Like, why don't we design like this today? You can't say it's the money. We got more money printed today than ever in history, right? So how how is it? There's a there's a um a lux for uh prism glass. Um this is unsolarized 1890s Frank Lloyd Wright design lux for prism company patent tile was original copper camming. Um actually let me look closer at this. I I that is not that is not okay. I I might be going on a limb here. I'm just going from my memory, but I do not think that this is actually what they say it is. They say it's a Frank Lloyd Wright design lux for Prism Company patent title. I don't I don't think this is the um I don't think that's an actual Frank Lloyd Wright tile. Because a Frank Lloyd Wright right tile, it, it, it looks very different than that. He designed, supposedly, some of these looks for prism glass tiles. These were in the, the transoms. This is an unsolarized one. Uh, these aren't very valuable because it was many more of these that survived. Um, and they're still finding them. Um, but uh see there's a solarized um this is a solarized that's a frank this is an actual frank lloyd wright uh panel supposedly he designed this and you can actually find all kinds of versions of like you can find like christmas ornaments and stuff but these are prisms right here and these will go in the transoms and what would happen is the light will come in and hit this prism and then it would reflect the light back into the stores and that they would go up here above the door area where it was a transom and it see how the light would come in the, the sun would come in this way it would hit the glass and these little prisms would then reflect re reflect the light straight back into the building and it was a way of um lighting the building because this is in the, you gotta understand, this is in the time of uh, gaslight. And, um, you know, you're imagine being in the summer with gaslight. I mean, the, the heat would be just incredible. This is the, this is actually the Frank Lloyd Wright patent. I've seen this before. This is nothing new. But the, now these sun bitches right here are very valuable. Very, very valuable. Um, these are, if you ever see these, if you if you ever see these, figure out how to get them because they are highly sought, highly valuable. This one right here, the regular ones, the regular Jane, plain Jane, everyday prism glass, transom glass, they're not very valuable. You can get those a dime a dozen. They're no big deal. Um, and don't buy them if they're clear. Only get the solarized ones, the purple ones. 
just because that's the ones that are actually valuable that they're actually you know the real deal the rest of them um you just you don't want those you don't want the clear glass ones you want them, you want them to be purple that means that they they were solarized them there was a element in the glass and when the sun would hit them they would um solarize and they would turn purple that's one way you know they're old. Now, this is original 1879 to 1881 Brown Brothers, downtown Chicago City Sidewalk, vault light panel fragment. So this is just one little fragment of a pavement glass. Now, these are um, not, the. this is the, uh, not the original pavement light. This is um, the second generation. They have the raised, um, ribs here little nuggets here um and uh the first generation didn't have that and people would slip on them and um so there's the uh an ad for them um but uh the highest patent L, uh, lead band um but anyways this is with the raised nubs this is second generation very close to the originals uh, I think they also call these bullseyes. Uh, that little piece of of broken off bit is five hundred fifty two dollars. So you know th they're very valuable um pieces. So you hear the beagle getting getting ready to party. He's uh he likes to party. I think. Yeah, this yeah, I've seen these in old buildings. A bus bar for electrical. Um these you know, these could be old world. I don't know, but they're definitely um different. That's a cool picture. Just the scale of that right there is insane. See the flat earth asterisk right there. Look at the big arches right there. Won't be much longer, Vega. We'll go we'll go party. Um Such such amazing architecture is dumbfounding. Look at this stuff. To me, y'all might be like, oh, look at this junk. It's just junk. Restoration recast of London guaranteed beard, ornamental cast, aluminum pilster designed by Alfred Ashley. Who cares? And it comes out of this building right here. This little fella here. And that makes me wonder if that's a viaduct right there. Why would you do all this? It's just crazy. It's the up close of it. That thing right there is just just one of those things is cool. But imagine a whole bunch of them. It's just five hundred fifty-two dollars. It won't be much longer, boo boo. You just hold on, hang out, chill out, let your fur down. He's in his little house right now. He he he. I keep him in there so he doesn't get crazy because he likes to party. That's pretty wild. That really reminds me of what they found on Oak Island. Who was who was I talking to about Oak Island? Was it GT? I think GT nineteen eighty two. My thing was asking about Oak Island. That's my jam. Original Russell made the brass pattern interior residential South Ch Chicago doorknob. Just a doorknob. Sunburst. Well, I tell you what, that looking at watching that eclipse with no glasses, that was so beautiful. It was it was pulsating and it was that won't that was not the moon, y'all. I don't know what y'all saw, but it that was not the moon that went that was that was definitely not what 
they say it was. That was a whole different thing. This is original late 19th century, early 20th century American. Uh, antique American ornamental cast bronze Belfort pattern door hardware. In case you need that, go on your door. It's a blueprint for a clock, maybe? Original 1920 wear and Alfred design interior Noel State Bank wall mounted clock office blueprint. That's cool. I, you know, it's it, it's interesting. We don't find more blueprints like I don't know. Oh, get by flat Earth asterisk. That is cool. Now you can buy a genuine flat earth asterisk. Historically important Charles Coolidge design, restrained classical style ornamental cast iron newel post and ball strad. You get you a flat earth asterisk, otherwise known as a Roman lattice. As per Billy Philly's research, Billy, Billy Philly went re researching on that and dug that up. Good job, Billy Philly. Do, do, do hats off to Mr. Billy Philly. Got his new new jam going in uh, Las Vegas. We're all hoping he's doing much better now and uh, getting his uh, sea legs. <laughs> I, I I I thought about moving to um, Las Vegas one time, and um, I'm glad I didn't because I I was a little bit too too. Uh, I I, par I like to party too much. I I think I would have. Uh, had a little bit too much fun. I was a little too young for for that. Um, oh, this is interesting. What is this? Do 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 do. Originally, Richard colored in, inner ocean ocean supplemental cover for 19, 1893 Columbian Exposition Day Edition. Do what? Why is it got? So it's a fire. The inner ocean. That is a badass print paint painting. Okay, we gotta save that. I don't even know what's going on there. That's crazy. That is wild. How cool is that? How much is that? We'll get pick a couple of those up. Oh, uh, there there must be free. This is oh wait a minute. Buttons aren't toys. Let's see. Single 1880s, originally fully functional ornamental copper plated cast iron residential entry entrance bolt door bolt. So this is just a door bolt. I mean the 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 quality of just a door bolt. I mean, come on. You know, that chain doesn't look original. That chain looks like it was, it was later. I don't, cause I mean, how many times have we seen that chain? That chain doesn't go with that. I don't think that's just an opinion. Just an opinion. Y'all calm down. Don't get any squad on me. You want the official narrative? No, 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 squad. Jackasses. Oh, got to look at Fred. Got Fred, image of Fred here. Was he Fred? 1860 original CDV photograph of Wooden H. Hutch bottling works horse drawn wagon. And Fred is delivering the bottles. Good job, Fred. See what else we can find. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy. Do, 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 do. Going, going, going. Need some crystal doorknobs. I remember the first time I saw a crystal doorknob. It was in a, a mansion here in North Carolina. It was just really like, I, I was really fascinated by them. So they were so just 
different than what the heck is that thing? Door handle. 1871 metal cast bronze exterior residential door doorbell handle or T lever with back plate likely fabricated by Kobe. So they don't even know what this is. They're saying it's a doorbell handle, but they don't really know. What does that tell us? Tells us they don't know shit. $552. Going once, going twice. That's a weird little dude right there. There's that. This is what I'm looking for here. See, this is a thou. This is one pavement glass, y'all. A thousand twenty dollars. This is I want. This is exactly what I want. But I want one of these that's solarized, not clear. Clear, clear is uh, how they originally came. I want them. I want a solarized one. But I like how it's presented. I don't know. I just want one of those. They're they're very expensive, very hard to find. You, I you, you before back when I first started uh talking about um these things about payment lights, it, it they were kind of here and there you could find them, but ever since I started talking about them, I'm not saying it's because I started talking about, them, but ever since that time frame, they have become basically hard, just impossible to find. Like just you used to be able to find them on eBay. Um, but just not anymore. You can't, you just can't. It's amazing what you can find on eBay too, y'all. I go shopping on eBay too. Looking for stuff. It's it's incredible. If you're in it, if anybody's looking to decorate something, this is the place to come. Because they got some cool stuff. This is Urban Remains, uh, Chicago.com. And you can go check it out. Go buy you something. Look at this thing. Good grief. Historically important. Earth 20th century ornamental cast bronze interior. New York City Grand Central Terminal figure wall mounted air ventilation grill or cover. All right. My, my, my. What do you think of that? Poobahs. Oh, wow. That's a crazy shot right there. That's a viaduct right there, y'all. Viaduct. What's a viaduct? It's a raised platform. The skies still look like a road. You think you're driving on a road, but you're not. You're driving on a raised platform. You're not on the ground. You are in the air. Or the famous viaducts you mean aqueducts no no i mean viaducts original walter t bailey design knights of the pithas building molded modeled terracotta panel with winged griffin to be sure not a tartarian griffin on a building never heard of such a thing ever my goodness what in the world look at that Oh my. So what's up with that? Wonder if the Moors got a hold of that building. Hey. The Moors were in America when we got here. Yep, 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 yep. 
get you an e uh an owl another tartarian symbol hello andrea d welcome how you doing today original 19 we are thrift shopping for old world architectural elements in case you're wondering uh, original 1929 art deco art art deco style savage chicago richmond brothers polychrome terracotta figure owl in case you need one of them and that reminds me of the maltese falcon And that's them taking them out. The little owls right there. And that's them taking them out of there. Pretty cool, I think. What are these things? Might need some of these for a collection. Three matching 1877 Chicago. Uniquely shaped ornamental cast iron. Jenny Lind figural drawer pole pulls okay they're only 330 something dollars something good grief that's a drawer pull in case you need those dang all right 103 35 dollars will you take 333 will you 333 Come on, come on, take three, three, three. Good stuff. All right, let's go see if we got anything in here. Ooh, this looks cool. What's this? I'm gonna go look at this. Image chronicling ornamental salvage from Saint uh, from Louis H. Sullivan's Henry Babson house during its demolition in 1960. Wow. Look at the windows, man. Why would you tear that apart? What what is seriously what the fuck is wrong with people? Like why? I mean just why? Why would you mm, why? Why would you do that? What's the point? What what do, 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 do we not have any any uh do <laughs> Do we not understand that, like, that's irreplaceable? We're going to stick it in the back of that car? Really? Look at that. What in the world? I mean, I'm, I don't even know what's going on there. Look at those freaking windows. I mean, that is insulting that they would just tear that apart like that. It's sickening actually turns your stomach to, to see them just just destroy this stuff i don't even know what that is that is really is that 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 is that unbelievable This, this is a crime scene. This is what this is. It's a crime scene. They're just stealing this stuff. I mean, not like literally stealing. They probably paid for it. But I mean, it, it, they're stealing our history. And then they stick it in this dude's garage. And then where did it go from there? Look at those, gl look at those, glass, those stained glass windows. I mean, unbelievable. Mama Mia. Unbelievable. Hello, 6R. I guess you're going to come and what, thrift shop with us. We're thrift shopping for old world junk. Let's see. A closer look at St. Louis Compton Hill Standpipe Water Towel, 1898, designed by Harvey Ellis. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Bullshit. Yeah. So we need that as a standpipe because, you know, why not? I mean, seriously, we need that. That's definitely, definitely, we definitely, without a doubt, hands down built that. No doubt. No question. None at all. I have no questions. Zero. None at all. 
I don't have a single question at all. Go Nitty Squad. Good grief. This stuff is like what I think of when I think of Europe. I don't think of this stuff when I think of America. America. I'm a woman brave. I don't I just don't see this stuff in America. Yet it is here. And you know, it's like, well, they don't we don't have the same you know quantity that they have. Are you sure about that? See, I'm not so sure that's true. I think they burned it. I think they destroyed it and demoed it and got rid of it. I think we probably did have it. I think we have more room, which means it was more spread out, which means that it looks like we don't have the same amount of architecture they have in Europe, but I think we did. I think we've been lied to. I think they got some splaining to do. That's what I think. That's my opinion. Unearthing Washington Porter's long forgotten kiosk sphinx architectural oddity through images and artifacts. Okay, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, what am I looking at? What we got? What is that? I have no idea. This is some kind of okay, Hitler Jr. Okay, what am I looking at? What is this thing? This is crazy. This is what? What is this? I don't even know what this is. This is new Eiffel Tower. What is this? That's cool. Okay, what they call that? That looks like pavement light right there. What in the hell is going on here? Okay, I have no idea if that was really cool. I feel like I've been in a four-hour movie. I don't understand. Okay, what is this? This reminds me of Conspiracy R.S. This is something he would look at. Photographic study of 19th century objects discovered in stud cavity of post-fire Chicago, Chicago uh, cottage during its demolition. So this is stuff they found in the walls. Sandborn maps. You ought to look into those if you haven't already. So it's just things they found in the walls. Pretty weird. Oh, look at those marbles. How cool is that? I don't know what that thing is. That's weird. Huh. It's like you're finding stuff inside the wood or something. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's click on that. Why not? Got anything better to do? No, probably not. Okay, this is design elements from an outer and Sullivan's transportation building preserved through Albert Sullivan's house demolition. Oh, wow. That's crazy looking. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Mud flood gasm. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I needed that. Thank you. What is that? What is going on there? That's insanity. Oh my gosh. We built that. We definitely built that. Whatever that is, we built that. Okay, grief. Oh, how oh my goodness. Look, I mean, come on. Really? Really? In 18, whatever the fuck? Are you serious? We did that. We did this. For what reason? For what? For what? What kind of... Seriously? Tar, I mean... look. Oh, hello, Tartaria. Hello, Tartaria. We see you. We see you. We're right there. Oh, my God. Call it whatever you want. Car, land of Pop-Tart. Call it the, 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 the land of the giants. Call it... Call it 
whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't care what you call it, but there's something going on here, y'all. This is not what we were told. When we were in school, they didn't tell me about this shit. They didn't tell me none of this. They didn't tell me about this incredible. Look at that floor. Oh, we're going to dig up the floor. Wait, what is that? Mosaics in the floor? This building isn't dangerous. Now, another thing dangerous is you people tearing everything apart every five seconds trying to destroy the whole old world, trying to get rid of it so we can't really see it. But we see you. Look at that. Holy freaking. <clears throat> what is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What the hell is that? Why? Why in the hell? Why? Who? How? How could you justify building like that? Okay, that's capitalism. Good grief! Just overwhelming, y'all. Over freaking whelming. I can I. I just. I don't even know what that is. What is going on there? Transportation building, World's Fair 1893. That's just randomly there. That must have been something they found in there. Unbelievable. Okay. That is crazy. Oh, so, okay. That's about, that's about as, as much of that as I can take, y'all. I, that just, just mind boggling to, to go through that. I hope you guys all and gals, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of assholes out there. I hope you all enjoyed that. I wanted to do a little something different today. Um, and I really appreciate you all hanging out with me. And hey, hey, Mr. Bryce, how you doing? Uh, big, 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 big Vindicta Veritas, how you doing? And I really appreciate um, everyone uh, hanging in there and taking a look at the old world and taking it and turning the telescope, the binoculars around the other way and looking down, you know, and, and, and looking at it a different way and seeing what we can find. Um, but the Beagle's ready to go party. And so am I. Love Beagles. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. can see. Welcome to the underground. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later! Are you like a crazy person?